Hello everyone and welcome to my video. I'm Dr. Mahdi today and in this video I'll explain to you about amyloid formation and also different techniques for investigation of that. At the end of this video, if you like it, please push the like, press the subscribe button and also please share my video with your friends. Now let's start the video. Amyloid fibril formation is a, a very important discussion, especially in biology and medicine. Uh, amyloid formation could be a reason for some types of diseases which are called amyloidosis. I mean amyloid fibril formation could happen for near 36 different types of proteins. I mean it could be a reason for 36 human diseases like Alzheimer's own and Parkinson. Uh, amyloid formation is because of change in the structure of protein and also it's because of aggregation of proteins. If you would like to know more about the structure of proteins, I already published a video about protein structures. Every protein has four structures, primary, secondary, tertiary, and quaternary. But in amyloid formation, uh, first we have folded proteins. I mean, we can have folded protein after quaternary structure. I mean, when protein has quaternary structure, now it will be folded protein. Anyway, in, um, for amyloid fibril formation, first uh, folded protein uh, turns into a uh, misfolded protein. And in the following, using beta sheet, something like secondary structure, uh, misfolded proteins collect together uh, in a long chain, which called fibril. Uh, length of every, every fibril is a, a few microns, and also width for every fibril is something between uh, 7 to 13 nanometers. In this picture, you can see different steps for amyloid fibril formation. I mean, folded protein turns into misfolded protein. And in the following, when uh, two misfolded proteins collect together using beta sheet, we will have dimer. And if the number of uh, collected misfolded proteins is between two to ten uh, proteins, we will, uh, two, uh, two, two to ten misfolded proteins, we will call it. Uh, oligomer, oligomer gets uh, bigger and bigger and we will have protofibril and at the end we will have mature fibril. There are uh, many techniques for investigation of amyloid formation but in this presentation I would like to introduce you three different techniques. The first technique is a Fourier transform infrared spectroscopy or FTIR. Uh, you can use FTIR for investigation of amyloid formation. I mean, first you need to make amyloid in the lab. If you want to have amyloid, you can play with different parameters. For example, you can increase the temperature, you can change the pH, you can decrease the pH. Uh, or for example, you can use cation or you can use salt. I think you can, uh, you have uh, many options for if you want to have amyloid in the lab. For example, here and in this study, they increase the temperature for insulin. Insulin is uh, uh, peptide hormone, I mean they increase the temperature to 68 and after 7 hours there is a new peak in 1628. It's because of amyloid formation. I mean for insulin when you have amyloid formation with FTIR and you would like to have to investigate with FTIR, you will have a new peak in 1628 and it means you have amyloid in this temperature. The second technique is transmission electron uh, microscopy or TEM. Again, with TEM, you can uh, see the amyloid fibrils. You can see the fibrils with uh, TEM. For example, in this study, uh, they decrease the pH. I mean, they decrease the pH to 4.8 and 2. And, uh, after that, uh, you, and after that, you can see the TEM images. With TEM images, you can see the fibril. It's very clear. The third technique is atomic force microscopy or AFM. AFM is another technique for investigation of amyloid fibril formation. And again, uh, with this technique, you can see the fibrils. In this, in all of them, uh, I mean, we have three images and in all of them, you can see the fibrils. Hope you found this video useful. At the end, if you have any comment or question, you can write it below in comment section. If you like it, please push the like, press the subscribe button. You can also hit the bell. In this case, you will get notification whenever I publish a new video. And at the end, please don't forget that life is short and enjoy it. Thank you so much and bye.